a live look right now outside the courtroom at 100 Center Street. Today is the first full day of deliberations for the jury, which spent about four and a half hours with the case yesterday. As requested yesterday, the jury listened to readbacks of testimony and instructions from the judge this morning before returning to deliberations about 45 minutes ago. So the waiting game continues this afternoon. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg outside Manhattan Criminal Court. Lauren? That's right, Sandra. The waiting continues. The jury did hear read back of testimony for about 90 minutes this morning, and they had also asked the judge to read them some of his instructions to them. That is not unusual. New York State does not allow jurors to have a hard copy of their instructions, so from time to time they will ask the judge to read back portions of the instructions, and they did so today. Jurors wanted to hear again how they should evaluate evidence, assess a witness's credibility, and handle a witness who has been convicted of a crime. That is pertinent to Michael Cohen, the prosecution's star witness. It's not clear how credible jurors will find Cohen, but he testified that Trump directed him to pay Stormy Daniels, the porn star, to stay quiet about an alleged one night stand. A story prosecutors say Trump wanted killed because it could negatively impact his presidential chances. Jurors wanted his testimony about a meeting at Trump Tower in 2015 read back to them, and they also wanted to hear David Packer's testimony about that meeting. Prosecutors say this is when the criminal conspiracy to influence the election was born. Pecker was the first witness on the stand, and he testified that while he was the publisher of the National Enquirer, they would catch and kill stories that were harmful to Trump's reputation, acting as the eyes and ears for the campaign. And while Pecker didn't end up paying Daniels for her silence, Cohen did. And how Cohen was reimbursed for that $130,000 payment is at the heart of this case. Trump is charged with 34 counts of falsifying business records to cover up the payments with the intent to fraud. And Trump has maintained his innocence all along today. He said it is a sad day for America. His son Eric has joined him in the courtroom. And again, deliberations have resumed. The jury deliberating this case now in its second day.